In a previous video on metal grinding wheels, we tested quite a few different brands and the Warrior brand actually did pretty good. Can the Warrior brand continue its winning streak today when you test the metal cutoff wheels? There have been a lot of requests to test these, so let's get the testing underway and see which one of these products is the best. The only way to get accurate testing results is to take humans out of the testing process as much as possible. The way this test setup works is this grinder is attached to this arm that moves freely up and down, which is in a perfect vertical position. This will allow the blade to get a straight up and down cut because if the blade is at an angle, it's going to bind as it's cutting through the metal, slowing down the blade and causing unnecessary wear. I won't be touching this during the test. All I'm going to do is plug this device in, stand back, let it cut through the steel, and then I'll unplug it when the test is over. So there's several things we're going to be looking for. How much blade do we use? How long does it take to cut through the steel? Does the blade shatter? And does the blade have the advertised width? Obviously a wider blade is going to take longer to cut through the steel and put a lot more work on the grinder. We've got approximately 3.1 pounds of downward force where the blade would contact in the metal. We're going to see how fast each one of these blades can cut through a piece of steel that's a half inch wide and three inches tall and see how much material loss it experiences. Harbor Freight is advertised as 1 16th of an inch. Looks like it's 1 16th of an inch, 0 The Warrior Wheel, which is the Harbor Freight brand, started off at 4.54 inches and is down to 4.05 inches. So it used up 41% of the cutting wheel to make just one cut. The Warrior Wheel also lost 7 grams of material, which seems like a lot. Hopefully we'll see better results out of the DeWalt Wheel next. DeWalt blade is advertised as being 0 0.045, the actual width of the blade, 0 0.070. So while the Warrior, which is made by Harbor Freight, lost 7 grams, the DeWalt only lost 2 grams. The DeWalt wheel started off at 4.53 inches and is down to 4.42 inches, so it only used up 10% of the cutting wheel. Compared to the Warrior, the DeWalt is a thicker cutting wheel which cuts much slower but lasts longer. Let's see how the DeWalt stacks up against the Milwaukee cutting wheel. Milwaukee's advertised as being 0 .045, 0 .058. So the Milwaukee is a very fast cutting wheel compared to the Warrior and the DeWalt wheels, but it seems to have worn down very quickly. It started off at 33 grams and lost 5 grams. The wheel started off at 4.54 inches and is now down to 4.18. So it used up 31% of the cutting wheel, which is a lot more than the DeWalt and almost as much as the Warrior. I'm really surprised the Milwaukee wore down so quickly. Maybe it's because it's a really thin cutting wheel. Let's test it against another thin cutting wheel, the Makita, to see if it wears down as quickly. The Makita is advertised as 364, 0.052. So the Makita wheel started off at 29 grams, is now down to 27 grams, so it only lost 2 grams. The wheel started off at 4.53 inches and is now down to 4.4 inches. That's not bad at all. It cut faster than the Milwaukee and it only used up 12.5% of the wheel, while the Milwaukee used up 31% of the wheel. This is the best wheel we've tested so far, however, we still need to compete it against the Diablo. The Diablo is advertised as 0 .040, 0 .0455.
So the Diablo is the fastest cutting wheel we've tested so far, even faster than the Makita. The Diablo lost two grams of material. It started off at 4.62 inches and is now down to 4.38 inches. So it used up 15% of the cutting wheel, which is a little bit more wear than the Makita and the DeWalt, but it sure does make a fast and smooth cut. So the big question is, can the diamond wheel cut as fast as the wheels we've tested? Lennox Metal Max is designed obviously for cutting metal. It's supposed to deliver a thousand plus cuts, and most importantly, it's supposed to last 30 times longer than regular wheels. The Lennox blade is .055. So the Lennox cuts extremely slow compared to the competition. The wheel may last 30 times longer, but it also takes 8 to 10 times longer to make a cut. The wheel showed virtually no wear and there wasn't any noticeable loss in material. Well, as we saw today, abrasive wheels that cut fast and last usually cost a lot more, but the payback is usually in dividends when you factor in labor cost and time saved. Hey, I don't mind spending a little bit more money for a good wheel as long as it's not one that's going to burn up real fast because in the end, you're going to spend a lot of time changing out the cutting wheel and it's not going to cut too fast either, wasting a lot of time. Now, the Dewalt blade did a terrific job in terms of lasting, but it was the slowest cutting wheel we tested. It is also a very wide wheel, so I guess it does make sense, and the type of material being used is a factor as well. If you're taking into account time as well as cost, it's hard to argue that the Makita isn't the best wheel because that thing cuts fast, and it also lasts quite a long time. Now, the Lennox is definitely going to outlast all these wheels, but that's in a different class of its own. Now, with that said, it cuts extremely slow, but if you're cutting on really thin material, that might be the way to go because that wheel will last a long time and you're not going to spend any time changing it out. Anyway, I look forward to reading your video ideas for the future. I have a lot of fun doing these projects. Please keep the ideas coming and I'll keep making videos.